Okay, so in a previous video that I did, uh, which is a little bit lengthier, uh, I went through the whole process of creating things from scratch, showing the old method of using layered materials and the new method. Uh, this video is just a real short and condensed version of that one. Uh, so definitely check that out if you want a little bit more in depth. Uh, but this really is just the process to show you how to set up your base materials, how to set up your master layered material, and then how to hook all those parameters in. So uh, we're just going to breeze through that really quickly, um, and it should be good. So. Uh, jumping right in. So the first thing we want to do is we actually want to create those base materials to do that. Right click, do materials and textures and material layer. And we'll just keep this one as is. And from here, we're going to want to right click and make material attributes. Pull this guy off, plug it in. And then at this point, this is where you could go in and you could create uh, any additional parameters that you want um, uh, to, uh, to make your base material. Uh, now, if you do want to have additional control outside of this, simply right click, convert to parameter, uh, and these will de then, uh, then be exposed in your layer stack so you can go in and tweak these on the fly. Um, again, uh, very, very much uh, uh, existing functions that have been in materials in Unreal Engine, uh, but this is how you do it. So this setup will create the base material. Um, it's there, so again, right click, materials, textures, and material layer. Next thing we want is to uh, determine how we blend these things together. So we'll right click and do materials and textures and create a material blend. And in this case, I'm just going to create something called an RGBA blend to show you guys how to set this up. And to do that, uh, again, this is going to uh, act as a master between how uh, our bottom layer and our top layer um, materials um, are, are mixed together. So uh, we'll go ahead and drag in just a texture, which will be kind of this mask. And this will serve as a template for uh, the things that we need in the future. So I'll right click and I'll do convert to a parameter and I will call this mask input. And then from here, I'll drag out, I'll do an append. I will append the alpha channel because if you guys know the uh, white is just the red, green and blue channel. So we'll append the alpha in there. We'll come off and we'll do channel mask parameter. And from here, we'll just name it channel. And then we will plug this into our alpha. And again, this will serve as a master uh, blending method for um, all of our layer stacks. So close that. And then we'll go in. Uh, and finally, we need to actually create the uh, what essentially is the master controller for our material setup. So I'll go ahead and create just a regular base material. From here, switch to use material attributes. I'm going to add in a new uh, layers, which should be at the very bottom. Material attribute layers, name this layers. And plug this in, and from here, I'll click my layers, add an additional layer, and that is it. This is really just the base framework that you guys need to start um, uh, that process to be able to use the layered stuff. I'm going to go ahead and copy this from an existing one, uh, which again I had shown in the other video, this setup here is just to allow you to inject a, um, a custom model normal on top of your existing stuff. So all the information, all the normal uh, attributes from your materials and how they're stacked get passed. And then you use a blend angle corrected normals to inject this additional one. And I took it one step further and just added a, um, a static switch in here. So say, for example, you had a bottle that didn't have a bake normal, you could turn it off and it would still display fine. So um, without, uh, actually, you know what, I'll copy this. I'll show you guys how to create this other one. So, um, in here, I'll go ahead and paste these in. Uh, so in order to do this, we'll simply drag off and we'll do get material attributes. And then we'll drag off with this one to set material attributes. And in both of these, we need to go in, add one array element, switch it to normal, add this one as well, array element, switch it to normal. We'll pop this in and then simply come out additional normal from the get material attributes into our blend angle corrected and from our switch we'll go into this guy again just so we have that ability to turn it on or off as necessary um, and that is it that is that setup to allow you to inject a custom normal into it um, I guess I should mention too, um, even even though I've dragged a very model specific normal, um, it doesn't matter. You can use a placeholder and then simply right click and convert to parameter, uh, which in this case it already was, uh, and that will allow you to change it on the fly. So we'll save that guy and we will close. Okay, so this acts again as kind of our um, our, our master. Uh, we won't do that. 
Okay, so uh, now what we want to apply to the rest of our models are material instances of this new master. So we'll do create material instance, and that's fine. We'll open this guy up, and you can see now we have our layer stack, and also in our details panel, we have the ability to switch on to use a model normal again, which is because it's a parameter, we can swap it out um, on the fly as we need to. So go into here. Background, I'll go ahead and just add, say, like my layer plastic A, layer plastic B. We can add a new layer. Go in here, we'll add C. And then under your blend asset, this is where you will use um, however you uh, determine. So I'll use the RGBA blend, which again here allows me to, uh, because these were parameterized, I can swap out the mask. I can select my channel as I need. We'll do that. Um, and I would just go through each one and do the exact same process um, set up here and be able to swap whatever channel I needed. Um, and then of course the last uh, last bit here is because if you remember in the red material that I had converted some of these to parameters um, with all those being exposed I can simply go in here and change them on the fly um, as, as needed and do this per different material. Um, and then finally the last bit of information here for you guys is because if you remember we set up that um, there was the inject of the custom model normal. Just make sure you realize that it's under the details panel, not in the layers parameters. So um, anything that you inject uh, in this setup here on your actual material, that's gonna show up in your instances under the details, param uh, details pane, not under the layer parameters. So um, hope that helps. Um, I'm actually, I'm starting to use this, this setup a lot more um, and I really do enjoy it. So take care.